In this video, we will go over how to log into Padlet and create a timeline. The first thing you'll need to do is open up Chrome and go to Padlet.com. Then click Log In. You want to make sure to select Login with Microsoft because we'll be using our KL Schools email and password. Don't just type in your information down here at the bottom. Please make sure you click Login with Microsoft. Now, because I've already logged in, it recognizes me, but it may prompt you to enter your email and password, which you should do. Now, once you're on this dashboard, you may have to get rid of some of your old Padlets because the free version that we're using only allows you to have three individual Padlets. But make sure it's something from last year that you don't need to keep. Once you have an open slot, you can click Make a Padlet. Since we're making a timeline, you want to come down to the bottom and select Timeline. Now, Padlet will automatically generate a Padlet for you, so you can change a lot of the things that you don't like about it right here in the very beginning. You can change the title, you can change the description, uh, you can change the wallpaper. Maybe I don't like this busy outer space pattern. So I'm going to go to gradient and select something a little less busy. Once I'm finished changing the settings, I will click next and then we're ready to start posting. Now you'll notice at the bottom, there is a line running across. So you'll also see that there's a little plus button. This is how we add our tiles. So for my first tile, I'll click on the plus, and I'm just going to do a simple timeline of my day. So I had breakfast at 7 a.m. I had, oops, I can create a title for my event and then a little bit of information about it. I had eggs and toast. If I'd like to add an image to my tile, I would come up here to this little magnifying glass and click on it. That will open up a Google image search. So maybe I'll search for breakfast and maybe I had the eggs that looked like this. So I click on the image and it adds it to my tile. Now you notice that this picture is very large, but if I scroll down, I can see that my words are still there. When I'm finished editing this particular post or tile, I can just click off of it and then it's done. Now you'll notice there are two plus buttons on my timeline. So if I wanted to add something before this event, like I woke up, I would click on this and put wake up at 630. If I wanted to go something afterwards, I would click on this plus button. So I'm going to do drive to work. 7.30 a.m. And then I can add a little description and I can add a picture if I choose. Now again, you'll see there are pluses before and after each event. So I can go in at any point on the timeline and add different times or events in. Once I have all of my events on my timeline, and I'm ready to share it with my teacher, I would go up to the top and click Share. Also, I should point out that Padlet automatically saves once you click off of the tiles, so you don't have to worry about making sure that it is saved. When I'm ready to share, I click Share, and then I'm going to go to Add Members. The easiest way to find your teacher is to put in their email. So if I'm looking for my email, I would type it in and you'll notice that my account pops up. So I would click on that, make sure it says can write, and then I would click save. Now when I go back, you'll notice that I am one of the invited members to my Padlet. 
and I will actually get an email every time you invite me to a Padlet so I will know when you have finished and you have shared it with me. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me.